Hi guys, it's Rachel here and welcome to another day of virtual programming. Today we're going to talk about a beloved author and that is Dr. Seuss. Look at all these books we've got. These are some of many of his books. Um, one of my personal favorites is Go Dog Go. I love this book because, well, it talks about dogs and dogs are so cute, but I just love the illustrations in the book. It just has tons of different pictures of dogs doing tons of different things like driving cars or wearing funny hats. It's a great book and I suggest you read it. Now, when I was looking up things about Dr. Seuss, I learned some interesting stuff that I didn't know before. Like, now many of his books say written by Dr. Seuss on them, but there are some that say there's a different name. And I was like, well, who is this person? So I looked it up and it says Theo Lesseg. Now, something interesting is Dr. Seuss's name is Theodore Seuss Geisel. If you look at this name, Theo is short for Theodore, and Laseg is just Geisel spelled backwards. I thought that was pretty cool. There are some authors that do that where they take a different name. They still wrote the book, but they just use a different name to say the author. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Now, speaking of interesting, my video for today will be teaching you how to make little insects or critters out of toilet paper rolls or paper towel rolls. So thank you for joining me for our Dr. Seuss themed day. Now let's turn it over to Lana and Joe. See you guys. Thanks, Rachel. Uh, I would have to say that my favorite book, since we're talking about Dr. Seuss, would have to be Green Eggs and Ham because I have a lot of fond memories of elementary and Dr. Seuss Day where they would always like make green eggs and everything green and it, we would just watch videos the entire day. What about you, Lana? Well, I like green eggs and ham too. However, I really like, it's not easy being a bunny. Let me tell you why. Because how many times have you thought, ugh, I wish that was my family or I wish I did that. All the time. Er, right? And so that's what Mr. Bunny does. He says, it's not easy being a bunny because I got big ears and I have lots of brothers and sisters and I have to eat carrots. So he goes on little tangents about being different animals. And that's really fun. And then it, guess what? At the end, he realizes he's better off being a bunny. And I think sometimes we need to remember that, right? Man, it's better off being a bunny. I wish I was a bunny. No, better off being who you are. Anyway, that's it. Hey, do you want to play a game? Sure, what's the game? Well, actually, it's inspired by one of um, Dr. Seuss's books, and it's called, Would You Rather Be a Bullfrog? <laughs> anyway, you know, we've done Would You Rather at clubs several times. Yes, we have. Kind of, you know, made it fun, but we're going to have our questions come from his book. Um, and so we want everybody who's watching to make sure that you comment down below uh, what you'd rather be. So, I am gonna start with the first question. All right. Ready? Yep. Okay. Would you rather be a dog or a cat? I would, I would have to say I would rather be a dog, you know. Dogs are my favorite animals. I own a lot of dogs over the years and they're just the cutest and you, don't, you get to just go on walks all the time. <laughs> Yeah, me too. I'd rather be a dog. Dogs are funner. Cats are kind of boring. Whatever. They just kind of what play would, around. What would you guys rather be? A dog or a cat? Let us know. All right. The next question is, would you rather be a bullfrog or a butterfly, Lana? Uh, butterfly, of course. I could fly around and I could be beautiful and hmm, I don't know. Just be cute. What about you? I would say a, a butterfly because, you know, being able to fly is kind of cool and Bullfrog's kind of weird. <laughs> right? And yeah. they're always in the water. Yeah. And I'm not a water chick. Okay. Anyway, what would you rather be? Um, okay, here's a new one. Would you rather be a minnow, which is a fish, or a whale? I would have to say a whale <laughs> because they are top dogs in the water. <laughs> right? Know? A minnow is just so small, but like a whale is so big and free and almost scared of nothing, so. So I'm with you, and unfortunately we're choosing the same stuff. Yeah, I know. Whatever. But I'd rather be a whale too, because you know what? Those minnows, they get eaten all the they, time. They're the bottom of the food chain. They're so tiny. And I wouldn't want to be eaten all the time. What would you rather be? All right. 
How about this? Would you rather be a hammer or a nail? Ha! <laughs> uh, let's go with hammer. Because, well, I get to beat people up. <laughs> I mean, nails. Beat nails up. I would say I would rather be a hammer as well, which once again, <laughs> I guess we're so similar, Lana. But it's the fact <laughs> of like, why would you want to be a nail? You would be stuck in one place all the time. You know, a hammer is get your free. Head hit. Yeah. yeah, a hammer is free. You can get, you get used all over. So. Right, right. And you're just useful all the time. What would you guys rather be, hammer or nail? Next question. Yep. Okay. Would you rather be <laughs> a feather or a bushy tail? <laughs> Ooh. A feather or a bushy tail? I would rather be a bushy tail because a feather is just a, a singular thing that falls off of a bird when it's in the flight, while a bushy tail is attached to some cute animals like a, a you know, a rabbit. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure I want to be a bushy tail though because the tails are always on the back end. <laughs> Whatever. All right, so are you saying you'd rather be a feather? I think I'd rather be a feather. Let's move on. Go. Okay. <laughs> Would you rather be a cactus, a toadstool, which is a mushroom, or a rose? Mm, I think a rose. Oh. Everybody loves roses. Oh, I was I was thinking it was because of the thorns, Lana. <laughs> no, I think it's because everybody loves roses. I love to be that. For me, I would be a cactus because that way, you know, you're less likely to be picked up out of the ground and... Nobody you likes you. Exactly. <laughs> Thanks, Lana. What would you rather be? Okay, your turn. No, I just did the cactus. Oh, okay. It's your turn, Lana. Oh, this is a weird one. Would you rather have a long nose or a short nose? I would say a short nose. I don't want to be like Pinocchio when he lies, you know? I'd hate to hit my friends yeah. when I turn my head. You just turn your head and you'd <laughs> hit something as well. Right. What would you rather have? Long nose, short nose. Okay, go. Alright, next question. Would you rather be a ball or a bat? I think I know your answer right now. <laughs> I want to be the bat. I, give me, I'll be the bat. Yep. I would hate to be hit around. I would as well be the bat because that way you would be doing the hitting and not being sent flying all the time. Huh? But I guess, you know, as a bat, after you, you're used to get hit, you get dropped in the ground, but you know. There you go. Okay. Here's a tough one. Would you rather be the rooster or the hen? I would say the rooster because then I get to wake people up in the morning. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I don't know. I don't mind being a hen. I have babies. I love them. Okay, go. All right, last question would be, would you rather have a big moose horns or small horns like a cow or a bull? Oh, I'm probably more like um, small horns. I'm afraid if I was a moose, I'd, I don't know. It would be I'm... the same thing as a nose. I would have small horns as well. <laughs> like I, I don't want to just, be stuck in doorways or have to go in doorways sideways. Right. But. Well, there you go. Um, okay, so thanks for playing with this. I want you guys to put some of your answers down. What would you rather be? Um, and sometimes, you know, you can make this game at home and, and make your own questions and stuff. Anyway, so thanks for uh, playing with us and remember, what would you rather be? Anyway, comment below. All right. Yeah, it was a lot of fun making these questions. Uh, it was a lot of fun reading them and getting the answers from Lana. <laughs> now, so for today for my video, I am going to be making origami inspired by one of the Dr. Seuss's books. So, stay tuned for that. All right, thank you. See you later. Goodbye. Thank you, Lana and Joe. Yasmin and I would love to play Would You Rather also, but first we're gonna let you know what our favorite Dr. Seuss books are. Mine is Oh, The Things You Can Think, and I like this book because it has great illustrations and it uses your imagination a lot. Like, it tells you you can think up a cherry on top and other stuff, so it's really cool. What's your favorite book, Yasmin? My favorite book is The Cat in the Hat Comes Back. It's one of my favorite books because it was one of the books that I grew up reading a lot. As well, I like 
how the cat comes back. And he makes a mess in the house. <laughs> hey, since Joe and Lana played, would you rather? Do you want to play? Yeah, let's go ahead. Okay. Remember, we want you to play along with us. So comment your answers below. As well, I'll start. Let's see. Um, would you rather be a chair or a table? That's a hard one. I guess I would say chair because usually they're comfy. <laughs> um, I feel like I would rather be a table because I don't know if I would want someone to sit on me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> would you rather have green or purple hair? Mm, purple. Yeah, well, I have purple hair right now, so obviously <laughs> purple. <laughs> uh, would you rather be a clarinet, a trombone, or a drum? Huh. Maybe a drum, but I don't know if I want to get beaten. So, <laughs> what about you? I feel like a drum as well. I'll be like, it's a fun instrument. Yeah. Would you rather be a curly letter like J, S, or G, or a sharp letter like K, V, K, V, or Z? I would rather be a Z. Yeah. It's, it's a cool letter. I think I'd rather be curvy just because, I don't know, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, would you rather be a window or a door? I think a window just so people can look out side, look out through and see things. <laughs> <laughs> I would rather be probably a window as well. Would you rather live in igloos or tents in the desert? I, a tent in the desert. I can't stand cold. <laughs> yeah, me too. I hate the cold, so. Uh, would you rather be a dollar bill or 97 cents? Mm -hmm. Probably a dollar bill just because it's a little bit more money. <laughs> me as well. I wouldn't want to be an odd number. <laughs> yeah. Would you rather be a mermaid or a ghost? A mermaid. Yeah, me too. I would love being able to just swim around in the ocean. Uh, would you rather be a jellyfish, a sawfish, or a sardine? A jellyfish, just because they're cool. Yeah, I would rather be a jellyfish and then you can sting people up. Yeah. <laughs> would you rather be stuck in quarantine or back at club? Back at club. Yeah, definitely back at club. Yeah, I miss you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for playing with us. Those are some interesting questions. Speaking about interesting, for today, my video will be making parachutes. What will you be making? We'll be doing some Zumba dancing. See you guys next time, and I hope you're having a fun time at home. See ya. <laughs> See ya.